of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Greetings, honored graduates of the class of 2020, families and friends. I hope this message finds you safe and healthy. Without a doubt, you are the most unique graduating class in the history of the Los Angeles Community College District. The COVID-19 public health emergency has changed our lives, changed our world, and you have worked through more challenges than any previous graduating class. So take pride in what you have accomplished and celebrate our theme for today, resilient times for brilliant minds. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, our nine college presidents, and our faculty and professional staff, I want to say thank you. Thank you for sticking with LACCD during these difficult times. Thank you for staying true to yourself and achieving great things. Thank you for being determined to make a difference in your life. And remember, the circumstances that we find ourselves in today are temporary. This is not your destiny. You've made it this far and you have shown your tenacity and commitment, but your work is far from over. Let me challenge you. Let this be your first college degree, not your last. In my 35 years in higher education, I've learned that the students who succeed are the ones who are not afraid to fail, who stick with it, who are resilient, who persist. A fierce mindset more than anything else determines who succeeds. And I have the utmost faith and confidence that you will succeed. Today, there are two quotes that I love and I want to share with you. The first is from the former president of Liberia, Ellen Sirleaf Johnson, who said, the size of your dreams should always exceed your grasp. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. The second quote is from Mark Twain. The two most important days in your life are the day that you were born and the day that you figured out why. And I believe today is another positive step towards figuring out why. Today, I also want to send a special word of thanks to your parents, your families, and your partners. Whether it's help with cooking, cleaning, childcare, or even letting you use the Wi-Fi to complete your classes, they have been an important part of your life. They too are graduating today. I also want to acknowledge our faculty and professional staff who've gone above and beyond to keep your education moving forward 
during these unprecedented times. And of course, thanks to our Board of Trustees and our college administrators who have been great partners every single step of the way. As I close, I urge you to always be an inspiration to others and to give back to your community. Whether you know it or not, you are already a role model. You are an inspiration to me and to many others. I believe too that there's a universal law in life, and that is that the more you help others succeed, the more success will find you. Finally, I often use the term LAC City Proud when describing our students, and I couldn't be more proud of you today for what you have accomplished and how you have done it. This class of students, yes, this class of 2020 is simply amazing. You truly are the best of us. With my sincere admiration and respect, congratulations. Muchas felicidades a los alumnos de la clase de 2020. Siempre adelante. Honored graduates, family, and friends, I'm grateful to be here to celebrate this special day with you. Thank you to the faculty and staff at Los Angeles Mission College, and welcome to our first ever virtual graduation ceremony. Class of 2020, I know this isn't the graduation most of you envisioned. Los Angeles Mission College has never had a graduation quite like this either. But make no mistake, nothing can overshadow this important milestone in your lives. It is a happy, proud, and inspiring moment for all of us. In a time when the leaders of our nation fail us, know that you are all the future leaders of our city, state, nation, and the world. I'm so confident that your graduating class will lead us into a brighter future. In graduating from Mission, you have earned more than a college degree. You've gained new skills, fresh perspectives, and a core set of values for your next chapter of life. As the world battles the coronavirus pandemic, we must prioritize our common goals and come together as one. Progress will only be made collectively. And as we look to the future, I also urge you to reflect on your past. I urge you to find ways to give back to those people, to those places, whether it be family members, mentors, community centers, neighborhood organizations. By doing so, you are investing in the success of your community. You are telling future generations they too can make it to graduation day. You have all come so far. It is an honor and a privilege to congratulate you on your accomplishment. Graduates, you've worked hard and you're ready to take on the world. There is so much waiting you. New experiences, new adventures. Remember these shiny moments of success, but don't forget the hard times, the struggle, the mistakes made along the way. Remember, without adversity, there is no resilience. Without challenge, there's no grit. Grit and resiliency make our community stronger, and hopefully, soon we can all make America care again. Class of 2020, you have made us proud today. Please go out there and work to continue to make us proud each and every day. Congratulations and welcome. Hey everybody, it's Governor Gavin Newsom. And first partner Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. This is a remarkable feat. We know it wasn't easy, especially in the past few months, having to adjust to online learning, probably moving out of your dorms. Um, some of you being the first in your families to graduate. Yeah. We know that this isn't what you imagined this day would look like and feel like, uh, but you're here, you did it. We're so proud of you. And no one can take it away from you. And I know you're filled, a lot of us are filled with a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety about this being the new normal. It is not the new normal. We'll get through this, but we have to get through it together. And I love to say, cause it's true. No one stands taller than when he or she bends down on one knee to help lift other people up. I think if there's anything in life you can do is see the world from a different set of eyes, not just your own. Be a little more empathetic, a little bit more compassionate and if you are, uh, together we'll get through this much sooner than you think. So take care of yourselves, be proud of yourselves. We cannot wait to see what you do for California in the days to come. Congratulations. Congrats to the class of 2020. Family and friends, parents and loved ones, Chancellor Rodriguez, Board President Hoffman and trustees, college presidents, 
and most importantly, LACCD Class of 2020. Congratulations. I know how much you've sacrificed to get here, how hard you've worked, and how much this day means to you and your family. So today is a celebration of you. We couldn't be more proud of you, your tenacity, your resilience, everything that you've achieved. And this is your moment. Nothing can take away from that. I know this is not how any of us imagined it would look. You expected to be cheering on your friends and classmates as they walked across the stage. You expected a cap and gown and parties and pictures. And you expected to be stepping into a much brighter world, a more certain future. But instead, you've turned in caps and gowns for masks and gloves. And you're stepping into a moment of fear and uncertainty unlike anything in our lifetimes. Let's be honest, this is not what you signed up for. Each of you came to community college to learn and explore, to prepare you for what you'd accomplish someday. Maybe you came back to college after working in the trades to become an engineer so that someday you'd be ready to solve an important problem and build it. Maybe you came to campus to become an artist so that someday you'd be ready to inspire and to help the world find meaning in chaos. Or maybe you came here to start a journey in science and nursing and medicine so that you could save someone's life or find the cure to a disease someday. But now in the fog of this pandemic, that day may be harder for you to see. You're not the first generation to prepare for one reality and confront another one altogether. But now it's your generation facing up to a moment of extraordinary uncertainty. And it's your turn to decide not only how you will lead the response today, but how we will build a stronger world tomorrow. We like to think that people are supposed to learn from the best of times, but history is actually written by what we've done in the worst of times. Not the moments we hoped for, but those we never asked for and how we stepped up. Not the blissful days, but the hardest moments of our lives and the ways we get through them. Moments like this define you and define us. This is what one of the greatest Angelinos, Vin Scully, called the life of the world. The reality that your days will not all be black and white and high or low, that you'll have moments where you have to live in the gray areas and navigate the space between borders. Those are the times when you're training, you're growing, you're studying and preparation are put to the test. This is your defining moment for you and your generation, for all of us. But it's your responsibility to define it, to move through it and to move forward to emerge from this time with a resilience that carries you forward to the next steps of your education and career, a power that will not only change you, but help us transform our city and country and our world. In your time at community college, your classes and professors gave you the tools to see what's broken around you, and your experiences gave you the strength to fix it. And now, your completion of community college is a brand new invitation to not only help lead us through the COVID-19 crisis, but to heal other festering wounds this virus has laid bare. The health crisis of homelessness, the global emergency of a planet on fire, the moral decay of an economy that leaves too many people behind. And while we don't know what the months ahead will bring, we do know that this is the someday that each of you has been preparing for. That is now. You are prepared to serve prepared to serve with words of wisdom, with art and advocacy, prepared to let this crisis transform you and transform each of our lives. And I know that you will do that. You have it in you because you've already done it. You've taken long trips from home to class, from school to work. You've supported families and children. You've taken the unlikely journey from the dream of completion to making it a reality. And for some of you, college seemed impossible because of money because you'd be the first, and that can be scary, because classes could take you away from working or helping your family, but you persevered. This semester was unprecedented, but you and your professors and the entire LACCD family rose to the occasion, making the changes necessary to bring you to this bright day. Of course, as you continue down your path, there will be new challenges, but if you're worried about how you're gonna follow through on your plans to transfer, we're here to help. Go to coronavirus.lacity.org slash college connect to get in touch with counselors about your next phase. And if you plan to use your certificate or your AA, but worry your industry won't be adding jobs, our work source centers are here for you as a city, as a community, and as your mayor. 
I need you to know that no matter what this crisis brings, your dreams don't end with your completion of community college. This is only the beginning. We need you to help us respond and to recover from COVID-19 and then to rebuild our city and reimagine its future. Because once you get through this, you will see that the times of loss and struggle give meaning to everything else in life that comes next. And you will learn that you have the tools, the talent, the resilience to overcome difficult days and to create something better, fuller, and more joyous. LACCD Class of 2020, we need each other more than ever. We need your drive and determination. We need your heart and your hope, and we need it right now. So on behalf of the four million angels in this city of angels, we congratulate you. We can't wait to fly alongside you. Great job, a job well done. Here's to you on this special day and to great days. Congratulations to the LA Community College District Class of 2020. We wish we could all be with you together today to celebrate this incredible milestone in your young lives. Now I remember being on campus with some of you back in November and feeling the energy that drives our community colleges. Uh, they're America's secret weapon, as Jill would say, in the education system. As a community college teacher myself, I know how hard you work and how much you do to get your degree. And I'll tell you what I tell my students, if you can make it through this, you can make it through anything. No, we have a real opportunity to come out of this crisis stronger than we've ever been. And you're gonna be a big part of that. So congratulations again to all of the LA Community College District graduates and to all of your families. I can't wait to see everything you're gonna achieve. We need you, we wish you the best of luck Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get loud for our class of 2020. Thank you for joining us. And we welcome all of you to this very special halftime show during our virtual recognition ceremony. Our halftime gives us a chance to honor our students through musical performances to the class of 2020. This halftime show is for you. Change. 
So 
Welcome to 2020 virtual recognition ceremony honoring the graduating class of 2020. The class of 2020 is Los Angeles Mission College 45th graduation class. It's the highest number of graduates in our history with over 780 graduates this year. Welcome our graduates, parents, loved ones, and friends on the behalf of the faculty, staff, students, and the Los Angeles Community College community. You are an extraordinary class of graduates. You now have joined previous generations who have endured extreme hardships during the Great Depression, World War II, Cold War nuclear threats, and the civil rights movements of the late 1900s. You have been resilient and courageous. So when you look back 30 years from now, at this time, you'll recall, where was I? Who was I? What was my character? What were my values? And you'll be able to see that like others, you've endured and come out even stronger at the end of the journey. Today's event is just but a preview of the commencement exercises we plan to have in June of 2021 for you, the class of 2020. That'll be a time of celebration and wonder. I cannot wait to see you all there. Let us enjoy this time together now and hug our loved ones. You did it, class of 2020. You are champions, eagles strong. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. What a wonderful accomplishment. On behalf of the faculty at Los Angeles Mission College, I want to extend our heartfelt congratulations on reaching this milestone and on making it successfully through your classes. Graduation is such a happy occasion, one that all students, faculty, staff, and administrators look forward to in order to celebrate achievements. Students rejoice for completing their coursework and excitedly anticipate the next step in life's goals, as well as celebrating with their loved ones. Faculty cheer their students and feel pride in their students' accomplishments. Staff and administrators relish in the joy of having met their students' needs and for providing them with an environment to thrive in. These are the types of feelings that we all get on this special day. This year, however, these feelings have been amplified by a large factor. This year, and specifically this semester, things were different. The COVID-19 virus took away our normal daily lives. It robbed us of the joy of being in a physical classroom, interacting face-to-face -face with students, bumping into colleagues in the hallways or on the way to the campus center to attend a meeting, it also prevented us of having the pleasure of attending a live graduation. These last almost three months have been a whirlwind of a ride for each one of us. And these are times that we will never forget. I hope that you will look back on this time of your life years from now, and that what you will remember from your time at Mission is the time you spent studying and learning about the different subjects you took, the awesome and amazing and passionate faculty you had, the ones that guided you and encouraged you because they believed in you, the supporting and helpful staff you have encountered as you were making your way. I hope you will remember the state-of-the-art facilities you got to enjoy in the AM, the culinary arts, the HVAC, as well as the CMS building. All beautiful and modern classrooms with new equipment, clean laboratories, and high-end computer labs. Maybe you will remember enjo enjoying piano being played on the facilities since we have pianos sprinkled throughout the different buildings. I hope you will have fond memories of your time at Mission, despite the challenges that COVID-19 may have imposed on you and on your families this last semester. Speaking of families, I know they are the reason why you all made it this far. I wanna thank all of your families for their support and for their sacrifices on your behalf. Our families are our compass that guides us to where we are going. Now I'd like to take some time to share with you a little bit of fun data about our graduating class this year. 
We have a total of 783 graduates this academic year. It is our largest graduating class yet. Woohoo! Go class of 2020. The diversity of our graduating class can be measured in many ways. For one, it is composed of 68% females and 32% males. Females make up more than double the number of males. In terms of ethnicity, 82% are Hispanic, about 8% white, about 4% Asian Pacific Islander, and about 2% are African American. The age range of our graduating class is 56, with the youngest graduate at 17 years old, and our oldest graduate is 73 years young. Just goes to show you, it's never too late or too early to start taking college classes. Class of 2020, we are so proud of you. Despite the hurdles, you are resilient, and I trust your ambitions will take you far. I can't wait to see where you go and what you do. The possibilities are endless. Best wishes to each and every one of you. Good afternoon, teachers, parents, staff, and fellow graduates. For those of you who don't know me, let me start by briefly introducing myself. My name is Adj Demikna. I'm 20 years old, and I've been attending Los Angeles Mission College for the last two years. As a little bit of background, I came to the U.S. as an immigrant from Turkey back in 2016. I was accepted to a UC as a senior in high school. However, I decided it would be better to attend a community college for my first two years and to transfer out later because it would be more affordable and closer to home. And this would end up being one of the best decisions I've ever made. As I'm sure many of you did on your first day here at Mission, I spent my first 20 minutes at the wrong campus searching for my math class only to realize that it was a mile down the straight road, past the golf course, and in the STEM building. Within my two years here at Mission, I've met many lost freshman students on that same road, trying to get through a class at that time. Just as our journey at LAMC started with the adversity of walking down that road to find our classes, it also ends in the midst of an adversity. This past few months, COVID-19 has been a massive challenge for us all, students and staff alike. However, our efforts have paid off. Through diligence, we've overcome difficulties during these trying times. This past semester, each and every one of you have proven yourself to be resilient, which is why you're all here today graduating, even if it may not be in the way that you envisioned it at the start of the year. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the graduating class to extend thanks and gratitude to the dedicated teachers and staff at Mission College. Thank you to the hardworking professors who, with very little notice, adapted their entire curriculum online so that we could continue learning from our home. Without your help, your passion, and your dedication to teaching, we would not be where we are here today. I would also like to thank the counselors, the folks at the Student Success Center and ASO, as well as every staff member behind the scenes. Thank you for your hard work over the past few years in making sure we were on track and having a great experience at LAMC. And I would also like to give a personal thank you to Johnny Fung, who is the Multimedia Specialist and the Esports Club Advisor here at LAMC. He has not only been an advisor, but a friend to everyone at the club. So a massive thank you to him and the eSports club for making my time here at LAMC special. Last but not least, I would like to give a huge shout out to my fellow graduates. In the two years that I've attended LAMC, I've met many countless brilliant minds that I've had the pleasure of calling my classmates, my lab partners, and my fellow club members. Although we're done walking that long road past the golf course to get to our STEM classes, there will be many more long roads uh, awaiting us in the future. However, I'm confident in each and every one of you to be able to walk that road because this past semester, you have proven yourself to be resilient beyond measure. In the midst of trying times, you've beaten the odds and are now ready to move on to the next chapter of your lives. Now is not the time to be content with your achievements, but to secure your future and achieve highly in whatever comes next, whether that be at work, in entrepreneurship, or at a four-year university. Now is the time to take risks, to fulfill your dreams, your passions, and your aspirations, wherever the next road takes you in life. Class of 2020, as well as all the teachers and staff at Mission College, it has been an absolute honor and a privilege spending the last two years with you all. And from the bottom of my heart, I wish you all the very, very, very best. Thank you. Congratulations, Class of 2020. It was a struggle to come up with something to say. I thought to myself, what can I possibly say to this graduating class whose lives have been drastically changed, who have waited years to graduate and are doing so in a monumental way. 
as a full-time first-generation student of color that worked two jobs, has had their own fair share of mental health struggles, did not receive federal aid, and has been funded through the LA Promise program, I can definitely say this year has been filled with many unexpected turns, such as running for associate student body president in hopes of helping students improve the community college experience, but in turn, ASO shaped my experience. Through ASO, I met like-minded individuals who regardless of their own struggles, made sure to always advocate for students. When advocating, they always brought different student perspectives within ASO, such as having a member who's a DACA recipient and a parent of two, who taught me the importance of being brave and holding people accountable working alongside another member who, despite the ongoing financial battles in their life, showed me what it was to be persistent and diligent. Most importantly, having a mentor who kept me focused on the bigger picture and coached me on what it meant to be a leader. Under this year's board's leadership, we were able to accomplish many victories, like lobbying in Sacramento for basic yet essential student needs, expanding ASO benefits, providing financial assistance during COVID-19, and improving student services. As a result, ASO made me realize the importance of student engagement, advocacy, and community. This is why, as your ASO president, I want to empower all of you to make your voices heard. You all have the potential to become leaders. Never settle for less in all aspects of your life. As the LAMC Eagles, make sure to fly high. My name is Brianna Garnica, and it has been an honor to serve such a resilient class of graduates. Once again, congratulations, class of 2020. President Perez, I present the class of 2020. These students completed the studies prescribed by the faculty and administration of Los Angeles Mission College and are now eligible to receive the degrees for which they have qualified. Hello, my name is Stephen Brown. I'm the chair of the Life Sciences Department at Los Angeles Mission College, and I'll be reading the names of the candidates for graduation today. Vana Abulian. Stephanie Aceves. Xiomara Acosta. Tyler Adams. Angela Aguilar. Humberto Aguilar. Jason Aguilar. Milton Aguilar, Gavin Aguinaga, Martin Almanza Cardenas, Alexandra Alonso, Nancy Alonso. Maria Alvarez. Karina Alvarez Blanco. Jessica Amaya. Leslie Gabriela Angulo. Claudia Melissa Aparicio. Brenda Aranda. Luz Ariana Ponciano. Omar Arias. Flor Armada. Michelle Ariola. Messia Ashik. Jenmi W. Astronomo. Ravneet Atwal. Alan Avila. Bernadette Avila. Brenda Avila Garcia. Evis Ballester Perez. Christopher Barajas. Cynthia Barajas 
Obdulia Barrow. Yoreli Barrow. Yasmin Barrientos. Tyrone Bates. Cindy Beltran. Stephanie Benitez. Alexia Bobadilla. Jacob Bynum. Daniel Cabanero. Melissa Cabatuando. Kate Alexandra Calderon. Stephanie Candal. Dulce Carbajal. Sandy Cardona Serrano. Daisy Carmona. Alisa Carpio. Karina Carrillo Lira. Maria Casillas. Tanya Castellanos. Jeffrey Castro. Princess Cazali. Julieta Ceballos. Veronica Serna. Anais Chacon Rivera. Charles Chow. Francisco Librado Chavez. Channery Che. Cynthia Colon. Maricela Cordero. Cristina Corona Romero. Sarah Corral. Azucena Cortez. Erica Coxtanica. Tomas Cruz. Melanie De La Hoya. Jacqueline De Los Santos. Maria Delgado Lopez. Arif De Merkin. Diana Diaz. Sandra Diaz. Christian Dizone. Araceli Dominguez. Julissa Duenas. Omar Elias. Alisa Elias Barrios. Jessica Espidio Seyun. Jonathan Espinosa. Achilles Ustakio. Marisol Evangelista. Jackie Falcon. Lisa Favela. Mark Fernandez. Andrea Flores. Anna Naraya Flores. Clarice Flores. Elizabeth Flores. Elizabeth Flores. 
Sylvia Flores Tony Flores Karina Galdames Estrella Galicia Yamaleth Galvan Christopher Galvan Irvin Garay Lasso Aureli Garcia Cynthia Garcia Cynthia Garcia Irvin Garcia Magdalene Garcia Rocket Garcia Sarah Garcia Virginia Garcia Nancy Jasmine Garcia Pineda Brianna Garnica Lucy Garsaro Hernandez Sylvia Jarina Taylor Jerome Natalie Gomez Amanda Gonzalez Angelica Gonzalez Carlos Gonzalez Genesis Gonzalez Kimberly Gonzalez Natalie Gonzalez Samantha Gonzalez Donovan Guevara Lucia Guillen Rebecca Gorilla Eliza Yvette Gutierrez Angelina Guzman Hello, my name is Jacob Skelton. I'm an assistant professor of English as a second language, and I'd like to congratulate the following students. Samir Haddad Alicia Harris Ana Isabel Hernandez Boris Hernandez Christina Isabel Hernandez Isaac Hernandez Lucy Garsaro Hernandez Samantha Hernandez Vanessa Hernandez Ana Maria Herrera Hasmik Hovhannisian Gilbert Huerta Gabriela Jaramillo Alba Jathan Everardo Auregui Cristina Jimenez Evelyn Jimenez Jessica Jimenez Ashley Johnson Destin Johnson 
Randolph, Kirk, Stephen, Cosino, Alexander, Kratiger, Jorge, Lamprea, Medina, Edwin, Legarreta, Bianca, Lopez, Carla, Lopez, Diana, Lopez, Eric, Lopez, Evelyn, Sofia, Lopez, Fabiola, Lopez, Judith, Lopez, Karina, Lopez, Tanya, Lopez, Edith, Lorimer, Darvel, Losangoye, Vanessa, Loy, Brian Lugardo Agundes, Daniel Macias, Monica Magania, Sarah Magania, Nahla Malumfashi. Miriam Marin Alejandra Martinez Alexis Martinez Bernice Emily Martinez David Martinez Francis Yadira Martinez. Jennifer Martinez. Maria Luisa Martinez. Christian Emilio Martinez de la Torre. Jonathan McCall. Lorena Medina. Isabel Mercado Urusa Mia William Minero Puentes Maria Molina Gabriela Monje Lilia Montenegro Aisha Moody Alan Manuel Morales Brittany Moran Luz Mora Wendy Moran Gloria Mosquera Vanessa Munoz Lopez Joanna Moraes Silvia Morillo Karen Morillo Santia Aldo Nava Julima Nava Kayla Negrete Nicole Noto 
Angel Nunez. Vanessa Nunez. Cynthia Nunez Hinez. Diana Olmsted. Emily Ordonez. Destiny Orozco. Edwin Orozco. Olivia Priscilla Orozco. Jessica Orozco. Stephanie Orozco. Myra Ortega. Elizabeth Ortega Muniz. Nancy Ortiz. Rosemary Pacheco. Elaine Faith Pagao Palarca. Alejandra Perez. Maria Perez. Maria Perez. Randy Portillo. Ophelia Prado Merida. Priscilla Patricia Quintero. I'm David Pardes, Professor Emeritus of Languages and Linguistics. And today I have the honor of announcing the names of some of the candidates. Evelyn Ramirez. Lisbeth Ramirez. Lisbeth Ramirez. Ruby Ramirez. Tatiana Ramirez. Alana Reeves. Carla Reollo Fernandez. Giovanni Reyes. Marley Reyes. Rocio Reyes. Veronica Reyes Arasola. Kayla Rivas. Marina Rivas. Marilyn Rivera. Antonio Rodriguez. Esmeralda Rodriguez. Frances Rodriguez. Gabriela Rodriguez. Leslie Rodriguez. Stephanie Rodriguez. Paola Rojas. Azelia Romero. Belen Romero. Miriam Romero Morales. Gerardo Romo. Adrian Rubalcaba. Karina Rubio Gonzalez. Carlos Ignacio Ruiz. Erika Ruiz. 
Jennifer Ruiz. Cruz Saldívar. Flor Sánchez. José de Jesús Sánchez. Joshua Sánchez. María G. Sánchez. Mickey Sánchez. Monique Nicole Sánchez. Jasmine Sandoval. María Inés Sandoval. Anahit Sarxian. Rosa Sequen. Andrea Serrano. Aras Shahverdian. Jennifer Shepard. Catherine Shipman. Ricky Giovanni Cifuentes. Alessa Silva. Tuesday Sipes. Andrea Solis. Rosa Stephanie Solis. Dexy Soto. Kimberly Starr. Jeremy Stone. Miguel Talavera. Justin Taylor. Perla Tejada. Christopher Tejeda Mata. Lisa Tindall. David Torres. Gabriela Torres. Sergio Emanuel Torres. Diana Torsky. Angel Tristan. Diego Urquiza. Melanie Alejandra Valdez Flores. Derek Valenzuela. Kathleen Valle. Ulysses Paras. Angela Vasquez Muñoz. Blanca Antonia Vasquez Nieves. Cassandra Yvette Vasquez. Delaila Velasco. Azuceli Velasquez. Juan Velasquez. Ana Venegas. Carol Venegas. Nereida Verdín. Brenda Villa. Crystal Villagrana. Myrna Villanueva Torres. Jordi Villatoro. Emily Villegas. Andre Vitti. Brooke Walter Lakes. Stephanie Samaripa. 
Ana Isabel Zapata. Stephanie Sendejas. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the Board of Trustees of the Los Angeles Community College District, I confer upon you the associate degree and a testimony thereof approve the receipt of your degree.